Oh, you don't need that. All right, look here, everybody. This is, I'm just gonna walk, we're gonna do our Q and A and I wanna do an introduction. I walked up on this house, look, everybody's at break. Look at this. I know we showed this the other day. We got like a quarter million people watching the show. Look at that. Now, oh, this is a Lexington. See the shingles on the top? So we have one that we're gonna put gold or copper on the shingles, I mean on the roof. And these are the shingles instead of the copper roofing. I walked up on this, I just wanted to show you. Look up here. That's not pretty. God. Look at what's going on here. We got a house leaving here. <clears throat> you got this big Mac Daddy going on here. We got one paint green. And, oh, where's that? Oh, this one. I know I'm getting you guys sick here walking with me. Bear with me here. I just wanted to show you the activity. And... These Incredit boxes back here, and then there's a model right back here. I got to show you. He's getting ready to pull this one in. Look at this. Oh man, I don't know. Do you guys like this house? This is this is a Lexington right here. This has been up in the in Kentucky, and we're gonna do a tour. We'll show you guys the inside of this thing. Look at this dude over here. And we've showed this one. It's been inside. And you can see the credit box, the green one in front of me. That's the completely off grid. Tom, we're gonna try to interview him. Let him let him tell us about his hunting experience. It's off grid. You can see he's, he's got his coat still out here, painted the door. This has been awesome. I if you can see, I'm just pointing in, in the window. That's too much reflection. All right. I'm just excited about everything going on here. All right, look at this one. And we showed this one. This is one Joseph built. This is a Charleston, right? See the light, the air exchanger, the different siding, the trim. The dormer, the corbel brackets, the board and bat in a different color. The light. Man, this is awesome. All right. We, we just got so many things going on here. This one pulling in, look. And then right under behind that is a big 28 footer. All right, let's get ready for the Q&A. Man, went to get our, here she's coming. Watch, look here. There she is. There she is. And there she goes. All right, see you back in a bit. Here she comes, just a walking down the street, singing do I diddy diddy dum diddy do. Hey, she looks fine, looks fine. Oof, like Woo him on mine. Show the back of my jacket. Yeah. Oh, you got a hood. If they can pull your hood up. Look, she's a Nike girl. Just do it. Just do it, <laughs> just man. Just do it. Yes. Okay. Is this where we're gonna do the video? I don't know, but I had to show him this. Hottie hole. I had to show him this model, man. It's just, it just caught me. I'm thinking, look at all that's going on out here. Hey, Dave. They literally, they just pulled this out. Randy and I were walking, uh, we were walking up through here, and they just pulled this out. And it just, in the sun? Yeah, it just oh caught my, my eye. And then you got Tom's off grid 16 oh footer right here with that wall heater on the Randy, outside. You got it over here. Did you come on this side? Oh, yep. They're moving this one. Repositioning everything. This is so much going on. Then you got the beach community behind the. Behind the look here, that's behind the wall. Oh, don't look, that's ugly. Oh, that's Ooh, ugly. God, all that recycled that. cardboard. Hey, Chuck. Yep. Um, right here, I want everybody's opinion. Okay, do you think that the piping and the windows need to be painted black? I want to know that. Do you think the tongue box needs to be painted black? Okay, so I want your opinion on that. Put that in the comments. Right. I'm curious about that. Done. Chuck, right. let's set up. Look now. at there. Wow, look at that. Look at that. You see that, right? Yep. That's beautiful, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
What's that? Amish done that, didn't it? Yeah, Amish built that one. It just come back. Yeah, it's got the shingle roof, so that's the Lexington. Mm -hmm. 10 by 24. We'll do a we'll do a, a show on that. Look at these pretty houses. Right God, here. this is gorgeous. See, we do more than the Incredibox. We, we do sure so. Do. And then when we get our Woody line up, man, this is all going to be a full Woody blown series. wood series. Hey, did you show the guy? Look over here. These Whole, guys. Whole look here. Wait a minute. Look at all that gang over there. Look at them over there. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, it's two thirty. It's two thirty. Everybody's taking their break. And over here. Last break of the day. Oh, Randy, hey, we need them to set this somewhere where we can see it. Tell them to stop right there. Okay, see you guys. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. I pull my britches up. Is everybody here? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll edit that out. Okay. Um, welcome to... Now, listen, I'm proud of this whenever we do this. We are actually on Wednesday. Weekly Wednesday Q&A, the way it's supposed to be. We yep. never, ever do it on the right day. We actually did it on Friday last week. I mean, we were two days behind. And we, really, we've only missed one week. So we did it on some day through the week, but today's weekly Wednesday Q&A. I think today's number 29 or number 30. That's awesome. That's amazing. I can't 30 weeks. I know, isn't that crazy? Yep. So um, I'm going to let Randy talk about what's behind us. I figured you want to kind of go through yeah, we that. We thought we'd show you this model. This is the Lexington model. It just came in from the Amish last night. And I, I mean, let me raise the camera out the way just a little, a little bit. bit. I want to show you. You guys can see the shingles yes. that's up there. This is a home I wanted to put shingles on a house and i think it looks great you wouldn't believe the compliments that we have with the so shingles. pretty um but we opt to go with metal on the rest of the homes so but i just thought that would be neat this is the first one we did mm -hmm. we put shingles on and what a pretty oh, and yeah. the color package i mean i love that blue that copper uh this is a 10 by 24 lexington yeah. so that you'll see oh i forgot to get the price on there i knew there was something else i was going to look oh, up yeah. was yeah. the well, wait a minute i think i can look it up on here on so it, and you go to our website yeah, too. Let me you, look. you've got our models and our price line i got it right here you know i was on a competitors that's down in alabama and they built some great big beautiful homes and you never get pricing it's like never they don't just put list pricing. It, right? just put it so we put the price on her this is we what do. it is and this is what you get now we're going to take this lexington uh we're going to take four of our models and we're condensing, we have eight right now, we're gonna condense it down to four because the eight footers just hasn't been something people are wanting. And I noticed that when you get into this size and level size home, yes, you know, people are gonna want a bigger house. Yep. So that's why we're creating our woody line. It's all wooded and it's gonna go from eight to 20 and then we're gonna to go to 10 to 20, 10 by 24. Yep. We were gonna do a nine, but Tom and I, Tom said, Randy, I think if anybody's gonna go nine, it's an oversized house, why mm -hmm. not go to 10 anyway, right? Well, that's true, because you have to pull a permit if it's over eight foot six, Over eight right? foot six, you that's gotta right. pull a permit. Uh, real quick, on the Lexington right here, this is with dormers. Uh, 10 by 24 Lexington, 74,300. That's crazy. That's amazing, with two dormers. And then mm. with no dormers, it's 60,100 for the Lexington. What a pretty that's about house. That's change real quick. <laughs> so you yeah. better jump in on this deal because I'm telling you what. Okay, so we're going to get this going. We have got questions uh, on paper and we've got questions on my phone. So why don't I give you, do okay. you want those? Yeah. And then I'll have these on uh, the phone. Hey, before we start. And I've screenshotted. Okay. Is yeah. that how you say uh, it? Screenshotted. Yesterday we did a video on the bay window out here in the, in the factory. And man, people have been calling about that bay window. And oh my goodness, so, yes. As you can see, this Lexington on the other end is a big picture window, mm -hmm. and that's where the bay window is going to be going on for the Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And so we built the bay window in the shop, and we're going to ship them up to Kentucky so yeah. we can install them. Yep. So as we were building it, we talked about, man, we could offer these maybe on our Incredit boxes. We don't know yet. We we're don't know yet. about doing it, mm -hmm. but we'll let you know if we can build a bay window. And if you want that, that's an amenity. It's kind of cool. We just cut it out. We can attach it on there, mm -hmm. but it'll be completely with a bench and a seat. And I think it'll look It really looks nice. amazing. And yeah. I mean, just as soon, I think the, if the quickest response that we got this morning was uh, it, the video posted at nine o'clock Eastern time and it was 921 and Amber said, somebody was like, I want a bay window. Yeah, so, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we'll um, get you a price yeah. on that bay window. And then uh, some people talk about a Murphy bed. Uh, you know, it, those will just be pieces of furniture that we will build and just mm -hmm. throw in the house. There you go, you know, attach it. 
we're we can't get into where we're going to be moving windows and right. taking windows in and out and all that. it'll be a factory house if you want a murphy bed yeah we don't know yet we're what we're trying to do is we love doing amenities because we do have the workforce to do it the upgrades mm-hmm Up, upgrades yeah what i call it, amenities amenities and um yeah so but if it's just so we don't know how to we don't want to change out windows and move things around in the structural end of it we got to stay on the assembly line process yeah you know so otherwise it's a custom home you know yeah, we can't we're, we're not doing custom homes on the assembly line the whole point of an assembly line is to keep things moving to do things in yeah. mass quantities yeah so we can't do mass of them if it stopped me like okay this work order right here this one needs this and this one needs that slows it up and it defeats the purpose so the purpose of the assembly line is to get out as many homes as possible mm -hmm. with a great floor plan that you've already picked out yeah. of our design yeah. right so uh you know fix it up use what you got and move on <laughs> I'm on one today. Listen, I'm jacked up on Mountain Dew. So, one of the things, okay, one of the things I want to make sure that we tell you is that so you're not waiting, you know, not knowing if we're going to do it. We are going to tour this before after the Q and A. So we're going to do a Q and A, then we're going to go inside. So yeah. know that we are going to go inside this house. Good. Yeah. All right. Good. Is that what you were going to say? Nope. Nope. I don't know what I was going to say. I totally lost okay, it. Okay. Totally lost his thought. There's thought. so much information that we're doing. Yeah. Um, it was about. I don't know. I know we're doing the communities. We're doing a bunch of changes in the community. Right. And, um, oh, I was going to tell the salespeople, if you're a salesperson and you got a four-digit number. Yes. Uh, you know, my brother's handling that, what we're doing. Yes. There were some questions about people selling homes doing or doing the point system. If you want to do a point system, okay. you sell 20, you get a free house mm -hmm. in, credit, in credit box. And um, if you don't do the point system, you get $500 a piece. Right. I'm going to... Probably coming out with a video to talk to everybody and let them know what's going on, what are we doing, some mm -hmm. changes here and there. But just to encourage you guys, uh, Sam's dealing with some, uh, the, the salespeople are starting to start selling homes. They are. There's more and more that's coming out of the woodwork and it's exciting we to see. We've got like 213 people out there registered to sell our homes. So that's it. That's, a, that's cool. That you is know? amazing. But if you want to sell a home and you want to make 500 bucks, go to our online uh, click on ITH employment opportunity yeah. and you guys can get a four digit number and you also can sell it in credit box and make 500 bucks per house that you sell. Exactly. Uh, it's it's exciting. Warm out here, isn't it? I'm getting a little bit warm because we're right here in the sun so I'm going to have to take my jacket off and put it somewhere safe. Um, so let me go put it up real quick. Where are you going to put it? Uh, probably just hang on it right that ladder. here. All right. There was something else I needed to tell you guys. A lot of times our residents will watch this show a lot of times people move here and then they, they, they don't want to watch anymore. And I understand that. They're in their own life and it was great. They were big fans when they wanted their house and wanted to move here. And then they don't watch anymore. And that's fine. Well, you're caught up in trying to design and uh, you're trying to purchase yeah. a tiny home and things like that. Now what they're doing is that they're in the community. Make sure everybody can hear me. They're in the community and they're landscaping and they're, you know, doing things to their house. So, you know, you move on with life. So we understand that. Yep, sure do. I'm mm -hmm. going to take my coat off. It too. has gotten warm. It's like warmer than what I thought. I was like, it's beautiful today. Today's October 19th. It's yeah, my son's birthday. Yeah. Yep. It's Bryce's birthday. Bryce's birthday yep. today. Yeah. Well, I wanted to go into my credit box today before the show and show everybody. Uh, Will and Becky had this little bitty heater. It was probably yes. four inches in, di in square, four before, yes. six before. And it just plugs directly into the water. Got it at Walmart. Right to the outlet. It was 800 watts, okay? So. No, they got it at Hamrick's. Okay. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. So it's 800 watts. The, uh, and I'll get the name for you. The other Walmart, little Walmart heater I used last year was 1,500 watts, right? Yes, right. This one was 800. I plugged it in. Mm -hmm. It got down to 34 last night here, which is yep. not bad. I had to get up three times in the middle of the night, turn that thing down. It got, you, it was warm when I left, I went in there. So I started turning it down, turning it down, and I didn't know really what to set it on. What I liked about the Incredibox is that there's a plug right on the floor. Mm -hmm. and so when I plug that heater, it blows across my floor. Yes. So it heats the floor and of course heat rises and I don't have a fan mm -hmm. in there circulating anything and I don't feel any temperature change really? from the living room to the bedroom okay. with that heat blowing across the floor. So I'm gonna do a little video and show you guys how I'm heating my Incredibox and the size of that little heater, but it's 800 watts. 
So we've also got this ceramic heater we're putting it in the off-grid. Tom mm -hmm. has that in his green one over here, and it, it actually draws four, it's four watts. Okay, which is four amps? Four amps, mm -hmm. yeah, four amps, I'm sorry, 400 watts. And yeah. Anyway, he had it running all night and did not do any damage, no. which I mean, lowering the batteries right. at all and he kept it rolling yeah, all night long. Yeah, hardly anything. He said it was almost at, right at 100%. Yeah, so, so I'm really excited. Wild. I'm going to put a ceramic in my, my Incredibox mm -hmm. and see how that lasts mm -hmm. and take this other one out because I'm slowly getting to the off-grid where I'm going to be completely Well, I went ahead and bought four, for one for my bathroom at the house, at my house, my personal house, and then I got more, one to put in the bathroom in the for the girls and the, you know, the guys and stuff. So I ordered mm -hmm. four, and it's called a Handy Heater Turbo 800. Oh, that's the one. Now, okay, so this isn't the ceramic one. Okay. This is the one that plugs in. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. plug-in. Yeah, right. this is a, sp it says space-saving wall outlet heater, which is great for a tiny house. Yeah, wall right? outlet. plugs right yeah, into the plugs outlet. plugs right into it. So I ordered four. These are on um, Amazon, Amazon for $25.11. So I ordered four of them. So I'm going to take it to my house. How big is my bathroom? It's, Nine, or, uh, it's five. I think it'll blow over. Um uh, Five by eight. Okay, five by eight is my bathroom. And so I'm going to put it in there because I plug up a heater all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to plug it up in the outlet and, and I'll have it. Oh, you'll have a warm bathroom yeah. when you get out of the shower Love and it. all that. Yep. yep. Okay, so $25 on Amazon. So if you want one, get it and try it out. And that's heating my whole house right It's now. heating his whole house. So we're going to see how it does at 15 degrees, 5 degrees, however cold it gets this winter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good, good. All right. Do you want to start? We're going to start with the questions. And then we are, like I just said, if you missed it, we're going to tour this house. It's the 10 by 24 Lexington uh, that just came back from the Amish. And it was snowing yesterday. Joe sent that picture. Yeah, Joe sent a little video, too. Sent a picture, but it was, uh, Joe brought this back and it was snowing. So. Like, nope, we don't want that here. No, not yet. Right. All right. Message from Luke Gomez. Luke hey, says, Luke. would you consider wind power such as this for your tiny home production? It's worth a it, it's worth a look, maybe even your building facility. Oh, I didn't notice. There's a link on there. Yeah, now I did okay. not go to look at this, um, Luke, but I'll take a look at it. I know my very very first tiny home I ever built. Yes. Lucas, that's where I met Lucas. In in the backyard at the house. And he put a wind turbine on my very very first <laughs> one. Did, yeah. Now, I don't know if it would even charge a cell phone, <laughs> but it was really cool. It was you know, cool. Looking. I have talked to Lucas about wind power. He despises them. Mm -hmm. He hates putting them up. I don't know why. We'll get with him on that. Yeah. But but um, Luke, thanks for doing that. I'll surely look into that. I love all kinds of off grid power. Oh yeah. Uh, Tracy Mitchell. Hey Tracy. Tracy says here. Hello, Amanda and Randy. I'm very interested in in home and lot in Buffalo Creek Mountain and don't want to miss out on the opportunity are at the point of accepting money for lots. Ooh. I'm in no hurry. 2324 is fine for me as I am traveling nurse and love to um, and can live and do all over the United States for three to six months at a time. Oh, that's great. But retirement for me is four to five years away and, our, and your communities and home sizes are perfect for when I'm ready to slow down and relax. There you go. Uh, I simply don't want to find out too late and have all the lots leased. Last week, I flew to Newport, stayed at Mary and Brian's Airbnb at the beach, oh, good. and toured the ITH communities with Twyla. Oh, good. I was pleased and impressed. Please let me know what my next step should be. Aww. Thank you. This is Tracy. That is so great, Tracy. Oh, cool. Yes, very wow. nice. I'm going to tell you something. Traveling nurses, this would be the most amazing thing for all these yep. ladies. Uh, when guys, too, there's guys who are traveling nurses as well. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, uh, And I know that Lindsay's friend, she's an RN, and she did some traveling nursing. Thank you, Dave. We've just been handed a message by Dave. <laughs> He's um, like he's like that producer oh, that comes in on it. It is, that's it. Yeah. And it's the pricing for the Lexington that's Got behind it. us. Thank you, Dave. Uh, <laughs> but traveling nurses, this is definitely a profession. Number one, thank God for the nurses. Right? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. What would we do without nurses, right? Mm -hmm. And then traveling nurses, that's even better. That gets to more people and they are amazing. They work hard. They do long hours and I'm glad they get paid. I hope you get paid out the yin yang. What's a yin yang? Well, I didn't want to say, but that, you know, that, I hope that, you yeah. get paid out to, you know. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. Sure. I hope we'll... you get good money and I hope you get you a beautiful, tiny, incredible tiny home. 
to travel in and then come and relax whenever you need to. So that's what's great about their jobs. You know, they get to go do a, a month yeah. or two job and they get to come and like they could rest for a month if they wanted to. Well, you know, I've heard hospitals actually giving spots at RV places yes. and in their parking lot. Yeah. You could take an Incredibox and park it in a, a mm -hmm. hospital parking lot. Yeah. And live in it for probably a full week without having to dump or get water or anything. Amazing. And at the end of the week, go haul it to a dump station, right? Dump your gray water. Yeah. And then start again. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I want my nurse and I want my doctor and I want all my people. Now, I'm not saying doctors would do this, but I'm saying nurses. I don't want them tired. I don't want them worn out. I don't yeah. want them in a bad shape. I want them in a good mindset and I want them to know in their job because what they do is so important. It's our health. Could you imagine working and getting off the shift at midnight yeah. and being able to walk out in the parking lot and go to bed? Amazing. And it's warm and it's off grid. Yes. It's completely set up and done. Yeah, yes. And they can pull it to the next city or hospital. Well, I wish it was paid for for them. Now I'm, now I'm to the point of the well, government, just give it to them government needs to buy it for them. So let's, let's lobby for well, that lady. Well, to answer the Tracy's men. question. <laughs> Tracy. 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 We have not started to develop Buffalo Creek, but we will surely let you know. Yeah. So that's going to have to keep you watching our show. And But there are lots in the mountain for sale right now. Yeah. Our lots are at $40,000 a lot. I know mm -hmm. that sounds like a lot, but what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into, probably I've been talking to the county and some attorneys and stuff, and we're probably going to turn this into a PUD. Yeah. Okay. From here on out. And the PUD will be... Um, a lot that you actually own and yes. then, so if you put your house on there and let's say in five ten years from now you want to take off and maybe you want to sell the whole place mm -hmm. you will actually be able to sell that home that lot all together you probably even get a better mortgage because the home can actually be on a permanent foundation or sitting there forever so it's something you actually own mm -hmm. and we haven't got all the details yet but we don't want you to miss out or anybody else so we will let you guys know how this transpires but right now we do have about six or seven more mountain lots that you can put this big beauty on or Birmingham or you know whatever you'd like so give us a call if you guys want that all right okay and two I want to do a shout out to Regina Regina is the OG of our uh, very first workshop Regina is a traveling nurse she did it for a long time she, yeah she did not travel with her home to my knowledge no. I don't think she did but she has a beautiful house. I keep up with her on Facebook. She actually helped me during COVID. We corresponded quite a bit. And she was so helpful to me because it was a time, the first time I ever had COVID, the worst bout that I had was with COVID. And she helped a lot. And I just want to say hi to Regina. She's out in beautiful North Carolina. She moved from Florida. And I know a lot of you probably follow her, but she has a beautiful, um, I can't remember, was hers a 24-foot? 24, 24 foot? yeah. Beautiful house. She's got craftsman. a tub, yeah. craftsman, and it's she a lot of work on herself. She's done a lot of she work. She brought it back in. We resided the whole place. Yep, absolutely. Change siding on it. It looks beautiful, and I just saw pictures of it. And with the fall colors, she just absolutely loves where she's at. So, congratulations to her. She came and helped build her home uh, at the very first workshop. So, uh, she'll always have that special time, and we'll have that time with her. So, thank you, Regina, and thank you for uh, doing your nursing. So, Carmen Scott. Now, Carmen Scott said, I would like to see a video on how these things are built and oh. how they are insulated, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know which one she's talking about on this Q&A. It does not say what video oh, it don't. that she's referencing. October 4th. I th I'm thinking possibly okay. the so, Carmen, Incredibox. If it is the Incredibox, I think it posted this morning. We did a video yesterday yes. of the trailer, the floor system, the wiring and plumbing. It was already insulated, so you didn't get to see the wiring and plumbing, but you got to see how it's insulated. And I also went in there and showed you how the walls were assembled, put together, and the windows were um, kind of attached. Yes. Now, I didn't go through the roof system in the entire process. In previous videos, we've done that, and you can go through our library of videos and probably find out the entire process of what we've done. And I, I talked to a guy today, or there was a lady actually visited here, and she was here for, she was representing an investor from out of town that said, hey, go look at what he's doing so we can duplicate that and mass produce homes like his. Yeah. And that's what she said. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Hats off to you, but you didn't have to come. We've got enough videos that you guys, if you want to duplicate what we do, mm -hmm. go to it and you can watch it and you can go on our website. I've got dimensions, I've got sizes, got everything you need. You know, it's really not rocket science what we do, you know? But so, it's hard work. Hey, hats off to you. And I, I told this thing the other day mm -hmm. on the radio, I mean on the on the show, that if 
anybody else wants to come out here and they want to build a thousand a year, 500 or 10,000, there's always going to be a shortage. Sure. We can't build enough of these homes right. to get around the world. Yeah, for the you know? world. That's so, right. But am I offering for, to come here and I'm just going to show you how to get in business? No, that's not nope. going to happen. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. No, because it's know? been tough. Yeah, it's been. And we're proud of what we do. We're yes. proud of how we do things. And I'm kind of being a little facetious because there are so many dynamic, what do you call it, so many details to what yes. we do mm -hmm. that um, for us, mm -hmm. we're still learning. Yeah. We're still tweaking. I was in there this morning for about two hours on the line, and I went over probably four or five different things that I want to change. Yeah. And then the guys had some suggestions of how we're going to change up the assembly line and how yeah. we're going to add a few. We're tweaking now the main details in these. Okay. So, but anyway, uh, it just always surprises me that you get rolling and somebody just wants to duplicate you. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had a friend of mine that we used to build log cabins with, and wherever we would buy our supplies mm -hmm. he'd say i'm going to bypass the supplier and go to his his supplier and yes. get it directly from the factory right and i told him you know i said i just don't want to do that yeah and i said you know the suppliers are my friends that's right and i know they're making money off them mm -hmm. but i'm not going to go to their supplier and cut them out right and get factory direct yeah I get these panels from somebody who's making money off of me. That's right. I'm fine with that. That's okay. I don't go to their factories and try to find out where they're getting them and all yeah. that. I'm good with all that. Right. I think we all need to make a little bit, and that's how we work together. Yeah. You know? So anyway, for anybody, that person that wants to cut everybody out and not buy homes from mm -hmm. us, and want to do their own, but they want to come in and find out the details and look, I I've know. never done that. Yeah. No. My enjoyment is trying to figure it out. Sure. I love the journey. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, when I get to the point where, okay, this is working out like clockwork. Yeah. What am I going to do? I know. I know. I mean, I like the struggle. I like the fight. I like the, all the, all the adversaries that comes your way. I mean, mm -hmm. that's it. It's kind of neat to do, you know? Well, I mean, after eight years, I mean, of course, you've had, you know, a lifetime before the eight years and stuff, but just talking about the eight, the last eight years, <laughs> the experiences and the, the struggles and the, the highs, the lows, the everything that we've been through, it's been a whole, we're the only ones that know it. So these people that are on, in this with us, uh, you know, from the backyard to here, uh, the people that's even watching and stuff, they've seen what we went through, yeah. everything. And uh, that's just not, uh, you know, you didn't just step on people to get there. It, yeah. We worked and we we succeeded and then we wouldn't succeed and it was over and then it was back again. And so it's it was very, that's life. Yeah. Life is up and down. Life is not always on the high. So if you're thinking always wanting to just go straight to the top and that's it, yeah. it ain't life. No. That's not life. So it's good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just the way it is. It's life. So that's life, Amanda. That's, that's life. The book, Amanda. the book of Amanda. The book of Amanda. You can't always be on top. So you got to be on the bottom, middle, everywhere. So. Hey, if you're not number one. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watch Talladega so, Nights? So. I love competition, and I say anybody wants to bring it, let's do it. Yeah, you yeah, just ain't gonna come sure over here and do. get the the game plan. So that's right. No. <laughs> All right, so Carmen, don't know what video, but if you did look at look in this morning's and in our library. Yeah, exactly. All right, here's a couple comments we got from Last Love. Hey, Randy, I'm gonna throw a wrench at you. All right, <laughs> for every 100 okay. in credit boxes sold, you're going to give one away. Does that include the eight by twenties? Ooh, did we segregate them out? I think we 16s did. 16s and 20s? I think we did. Well, yeah, I think we did. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we did. I think it's the, the 16s and 20s. So we'll have to you out. would have to sell 28 by 20s to get a 20 and 28 by 16s to get a 16. Right. Yes. Well, exactly. and then the give them away is the 8 by 20s a part of the giveaway. Oh, oh, oh. That's what they, they're asking. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm they're myself. asking that. So, if, is the giveaway an 8x20? Yes. Is it a part of the 8x20s that, that you draw it. out? Okay. So, I think we separated it. I think we did 100 8x16s and 100 8x20s. So, that's a, That's right. Yes. Yes. Right? Okay. Just want to make sure we're on the same and page. To tell you the truth, um, Last Love, I think I think if, if depending on what, what kind of sales we get on 8x20s, mm -hmm. I really feel like that's going to be our main home that we sell. Yeah. You know? It's a, it's a great floor it's plan. It's just a few thousand dollars more. It's, it's bigger. I didn't know if I'd ever do a 20-footer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Christmas is coming. Yeah. It's always hard for us here. 
we have to keep working. We have to keep selling. Yeah. We don't stop through the holidays. We no. got to keep mowing. We'll take a couple of days off and keep rolling. And I know that's sad. I wish we had we made enough money where we could shut down for a month and then give everybody a vacation. But it's we just don't yet. Ah, yeah, um, that ain't gonna happen this year. So that's why I <laughs> put out work. the eight by twenty, thinking, hey, we need to, we need to sell some more homes. And I thought, let's try it. Let's mm-hmm. just try it. We got a couple of weeks where we can work and sell them out so yeah please okay. if you guys want to yeah if you buy an eight by 20 i'll give an eight by 20 away to the first hundred first hundred yeah so that's going to be a part of yeah. it of its own thing uh one of the things that well i really shouldn't even ask this yeah, so this ahead. is robert my friend and i left my notes uh maybe it's over there but anyway i said we all know the incredible box sales for twenty thousand. but how much is the total cost with sales tax I don't think we ever heard the number before. Okay. So many counties in Tennessee have different tax percentages. Uh, is Cock County 9.25, 9.5, or 9.75? We're 9.75, isn't it, plus 88? Isn't that the taxes? No. 3.5. In Cock County? In the state. It's all statewide. It's a state tax, not a county tax. Okay, okay. So it is not. it has nothing to do with counties. Okay. It is a state tax. It's 3.5% plus $66. Where did I get that? Where did I get the 88? I don't know. Where 3. I got that. Three point five percent times the twenty thousand. I have my it over calculator there. It's twi- it's uh, six hundred and something dollars, I think, or seven sixty six. I think it's twenty thousand dollars seventy seven sixty six. That's if you uh, are staying in Tennessee. If you're not staying in Tennessee and taking it seven hundred dollars seven sixty six. Yep. Yep. It's seven sixty six. Okay. Seven hundred and sixty six dollars okay. is a tax on a twenty thousand dollar credit box. If it stays in Tennessee. If it stays if, in Tennessee. If it does not stay in Tennessee, you take it with you. There's no. You just pay the twenty thousand. Right. Same thing for the twenty five thousand. And I think the twenty five thousand came to nine thirty one or something. Okay. So good. Do the three point five percent plus sixty six. I don't know where I got all that other. Okay. So anyway, that answered that because we've never said that yeah. before. I don't think so. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Drop nuggets, not nukes. Drop nuggets, <laughs> not nukes. That's cool, man. <laughs> Could we buy a 16-footer and a 20-footer and put both on a lot in the Grove? What state is the Grove located in? All right. The good Grove's, question. Yep. So the Grove sold out. Sold Sorry out. about that. Yeah. And it only, the, the lots are really small. You can only put one house yeah. per lot in the Grove. Yeah. But you can buy a 16 and 20 and put it somewhere else and put it together and shove them together and shove them together okay. mary blackshear oh hey mary oh it is so nice to see what you have done in the front of the property so far with the new guard shack and oh. the little sales office building and the post office how nice looks so good foggy this morning was it cold and that morning yeah it was a little chilly yeah exactly but and very thank, foggy. And thank you for that because, you know, whatever cha- changes we do along here, yes. there's always people that just hate it. And then there's people that just that love, love it. it. So what we've, what I've made, Amanda and I have talked about it. Yes. Um, I've got some really long-term plans for this yes. whole entire community. And you just have to hang on here. You know, it's $200 a month to stay here. Yeah. That's it. You know, but. But we are making changes. We are putting, listen, nice. we're putting up fences. We're putting up entrances. We're planting trees. We're going to be doing stuff. So yeah. we're we're getting stuff done, and we yeah. know what we want to do, and we're going to do it. And yeah. it's going to be it's beautiful. Gonna, and it's going to be private. It's going to be private and pretty. Secured. It's going to be beautiful yes. for everybody. Here. Yep. Yep. So we're excited about it. Um, something I want to add on here while we're t- uh, talking. Um, well, I'll add that at the end, but we'll talk about the school at the end. Okay, about yeah, the yeah, yeah. And yep, stuff, okay, yep. so I want to talk about I that. I think that might have been what I was going to talk about. Oh, it about. might have been, okay. Are these houses insulated? Would they be warm enough in an area that gets snow in cold winters? I know I think. I'm holding on to it. Um, so she's talking about the Incredibox. Are they cold? Remember, we've been talking about wanting to put one maybe up in Cody, Wyoming, or we got some people going up to Wisconsin and Minnesota, and we're going to hear back from them this year. Now, we've been building these Incrediboxes or this solar, these uh, ESP panels, we call them, mm-hmm. for over almost two years now. Yeah, that's right. And they're all over the country. We have not heard anybody complaining no. about not being able to keep them warm. No, no complaints. So they have done well. Me personally, I lived in one. We got down to about 15 degrees, which is not super cold for, you know, you guys Ooh. up in Minnesota. But my heat barely ran. I had it on half all yes. winter long, and it was warm in there constantly, you know. So yes. we actually put 5,000 pounds on the roof to mimic a snow load, right? The wind's blowing. It flew away, didn't it? And, Thank uh, you. 
and it held up really well. We kept it on there for about a week. And so the weight on these, the strength on these is amazing. Uh, we just have not done a study on the cold weather. Now, one thing I want to point out about her insulating question. Okay. All right. So we had the spray foam, right? So we spray foam inside in on our stick built homes. Mm -hmm. And when we spray, we got two by four studs. And I talked to the spray company when we first started doing this back in Inca five, six years ago, right? Right. So they were coming, they were spraying with the stuff. And I said, hey, how come you don't fill that void all the way out flush to the surface of the two by four? Okay. Right? Yeah. He said, we don't do that unless we do it with an open cell and it's more soft and they just shave it flush. Oh. I said, man, that looks warmer. Mm -hmm. He said, on the closed cell, when you spray that first inch, yeah. you get 50% of the insulation you're going to need. When you spray that second inch, okay. you get 95% efficiency. Wow. All right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to get to 100. For two inches, you're already at 95%. That's amazing. And so we put he three. Said, no, we do two. We do two. So he said, when you put, the, if you put a third inch mm -hmm. on that, right? Yeah. You're only increasing your efficiency five, four to five more percent. Oh God, so not worth the price. So the third it. inch is not increasing it 50 more percent. Right. Now, of course, they will say it's an R40 now. And if you get an, a six inch to say it's an R70, you don't need it. Wow, that's so great I to know. So I asked an insulation company in Minnesota when I was up yeah, there. Yeah, and that that's out. cold in Minnesota. And I asked the guy, he said, you know what? Our state code regulation. Yeah, I think in the attic was seven inches. Seven inches. And okay. I asked him, and I said, sir, if what I just said about the scenario of two inches and three inches is correct, why did they make you seven? He that said, is right. He said, I've asked the same question. Is that right? Huh. He said, there's no reason. He said, the the last four inches we put on there. Is to no worthless. avail, nothing. Wow. Now, everybody, this is just what I've been told by engineers. I mean, not engineers, you know, uh, people who were in the business of spray foaming and you would think they would say oh yeah you got to put 10 inches in right mm -hmm. they said two inches is 95 per e efficient that's awesome okay so now let me go back to the question is these esp panels okay they're just shy of two inches thick mm -hmm. all right there's a door panel two inches thick mm -hmm. on our black building back here it faces west we have a door it's a 3-0 door it faces west and then when the sun yes. hits it in the summertime yeah you can't hardly touch it it's hot on the inside Cool. It is cool it as is can cool be. As and it's can all be. day long. Mm -hmm. We've done studies, and I'm going to do another one. We got yeah. a heat gun, okay? And because we got a wood stove cooking now in here, yeah. and I'm going to show you how hot this thing can get over hours and hours and hours, and how on the other side of that door, that heat is not transferred through. Yes. Two inches thick. Yeah. All right. So, and I'm explaining all this because we do not have engineering specs. We have not shipped one of these houses to an engineering firm mm -hmm. and to run 1,400 million tests on it. But the panels themselves are already engineered because they, they were are. already a door. You got it. Yes, okay. Yeah. That's Sorry for all that long explanation. Well, that's not a lot. I mean, it's it's a necessary explanation. Yeah, I hope, they un I hope this helps with the insulating of it because, you know, we don't have that Okay, you're good till 40 below zero. Well, and know? especially, I mean, it's winter time's on us. I mean, today's October 19th, so uh, it's coming up, and we got people that's getting their houses and stuff like yeah. that. What's well, another thing? I didn't know if we were. That's what I was going to say. That's what it was. That's what I was going to say. I knew we'd get to Can you to remember it. that, or I need to? I'll, I'll never remember it. Um, you need to write that down. Uh, well, let me you text go to the next it. one. Let me text it to no, you. No, I'll write it, you right write it down. You get to the next oh, question. Oh, I went to the next. Okay, so I went out. Okay, that's what we were going to say. Okay, so um, Teresa loves PIMS. Who doesn't love a bay window? And if it is a window seat, and is it a window seat? Yes. I'm it so is a window seat. Of course, it has to be a window I seat. I was going to ask that yesterday, and I'm so glad you asked it because I forgot to ask it. Yeah. I was wanting to know, can you sit on it too? Okay, great yes. nook yep. for book readers, nature watchers, and nosy uh, Nelly. And that's listen, great. And nosy Nellies like me, so we must be related. You know, pets will love it too. I have already seen videos of people using the, the title Incredible Tiny Homes trying to sell their products. They can imitate, but they can't replicate. Aww. ITH has a soul. Hey, and she said, hey, that's a great model. model. Yeah, that is. Y'all can have it, LOL. Great things are happening in East Tennessee, y'all. Thank you so much. And I'm going to tell you something. We're gonna, this might have to be Friday's video. 
I don't know when we're going to do this, but um, I just want to put out there that I wanted to. We're getting people who are sending us gifts, sending yeah. gifts, sending products, sending things. And I thought, now some of it's just gifts. Uh, people are giving us stuff and, and it's beautiful, lovely. We're getting wonderful letters and we're not getting to share that. So I'm wanting to get together with some of our stuff and maybe have a show just to share you. Yeah, okay. Uh, share some of the things to that we've been. Just to say thank you for what you're doing. Just to say thank you for sending stuff and they're just saying thank you. Okay. But one of the ideas that I came up with that I'd like to start maybe next week on the Q&A or maybe a different segment of another show is that if you have a product, okay, if you have, you know, like a lady, I posted on our Facebook that she makes soap. I put her business card, I put her, uh, promoted her, because uh, she sent me products to use. I used it, I liked it, and I said, you know what, I'm going to share this with the people of the residents here on there, mm -hmm. uh, on Facebook, and then I also want you subscribers and the people watching to, um, to to see that, so check them out, and you can buy their products. Yeah. So I thought people who are our subscribers, our residents, to have a little perk of if you have something that you want to promote or a service that you do, send us the information. Will be tiny QVC. Yes, send us send us a sample of whatever it is, yeah. and we'll put it on the show and promote it for you. That'd be great. I thought that'd be fun yeah. for everybody. So if you have a little business like a if nails or you need, need help selling your stuff, so send it to us. And, and you know, maybe some of our subscribers will purchase something. You might, they might do exactly. That'd be fun. Yeah, and especially the people who are buying a house that have bought a house and are buying a house. We do that for you as well. So I thought everybody loved yeah. that. Yeah. And just keep in mind, it's mainly ladies, so you might want to gear, you know, a sale towards ladies. I'm just saying. Um, love wins. Any chance different flooring color um, on the Incredibox? I think we have got a standard floor that we go and do because it's an assembly line, mm -hmm. and it's just a, a. We use what's available. Yeah. We use what's available. So. Yes. And. The floor can be removed. You know, you can just peel it up. It's not glued. It's not stapled or anything. And an amazing thing, amazing that changes everything, especially in a small space. Buy a rug. Go to Ross. Listen, do you all have a Ross Good where you're yep. at? Go to Ross. Go to TJ Maxx. They got these big rugs. Amazon. My goodness, if I don't buy everything in the world on Amazon, and uh, put you a rug down to go with that, you'll never see the floor if you don't like it. Ten four. I can't say what I do. Hey, tiny home giveaway, Little Birmingham. Where yes. can I apply to the giveaway? Is it? It is stunning. It's I so wanted amazing. To do it. There's so much going on. I wanted to go so in the factory and show you what we're doing in there. And then today they're putting on the slate shingles. Are they? On the tiny Birmingham. Are they doing it right now? They're doing it right now. Sure, and we are to go I'm watch. hoping one side is done. So maybe tomorrow morning we'll come in there and show you what and that we'll thing see looks it. like. It's slate, slate shingles. But it's faux. I mean, it's not real slate, but it looks. Well, you like gotta it. say faux. Faux. It's faux. It's faux. It's not friend. It's like it's some faux. other faux things around here. It's not friend. It's faux. It's like faux parts. <laughs> exactly. Do you have faux parts? I have Amanda? faux parts. <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> I don't yet, but I'm planning on it. <laughs> if we ever make any money, I'm gonna have more faux parts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Okay. <laughs> wow. I wish we could just run with that. You know what? <laughs> I'll be a build a Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> build a Barbie. <laughs> I'm gonna get the whole rights to it. <laughs> Build a Barbie. Oh God! <laughs> and, uh, she wants to know where she can apply for that giveaway. Just man. Oh, up. I forgot about what she's talking about. You gotta be one of the hundred thousand, okay? And send in a postcard. If you don't want anybody to see, everybody's scared of there. Everybody gonna see the address. Listen. Put it in an envelope and ship it to we've us. We've had yeah. people put it in an envelope and ship it. It's like I don't. I don't want anybody <laughs> knowing where I live. Okay. <laughs> I say come in right here. I live at 850 Industrial Road. <laughs> come slip my, come slip my throat. <laughs> my door's open. All right, here we go. 
Sandra Stevens. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> You're going to find me dead in the morning. You know what? Right. We're going to have all kinds I'm of... I'm ready to go anyway. Yeah. Just take me out. Lord, Lord take him. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of unsubscriber, unsubscribe people come up. <laughs> I know. It. Oh, thought, gosh. Uh, Sandra Stevens thought could, thought could only be 13... <laughs> oh, and a half... 13.6 uh, high. Okay. What is the length without uh, the deck? And they're talking about um, Ron and Alice's house. Oh, now good so, question. Yes. Ron and Alice's house was 16 foot tall. Yes. It did not go out on the main road. No. So we built it from our factory right here and just shipped it over here to our prairie community mm -hmm. and they're done. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're done. <laughs> they ain't going anywhere else. Ron and Alice done. <laughs> but uh, to answer your question, 13.6 is a DOT <laughs> regulation, right? Yeah. So without any permits, you do 13.6 and below. Okay. We have built, I, I shipped a house that was 14.2 to Texas. Okay. And I, I took it myself. Mm -hmm. And we took a, an extra permit. It was a, um, and back then they give you a permit without mm -hmm. a DOT number. Yes, yeah, it's all different it. now. So now you can actually, you can build taller. Um, you just have to. You got to do the, the regulations. Yeah. Yes. And it's through each state. Yes. yes. And if you go over 15 feet tall, you're going to have to have. Uh, what do you call them? Pilot cars? Yes. Or, uh, front and back. An escort. Escort. Yes. Front and back, which gets really costly. And you know what's good about it now is that, you know, they actually map out where you go. They map it out for you. So that's what pays for a lot of this stuff. Yeah. They, they tell you where to go. Okay. I'll say... Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, Deloys Richardson. How can I buy a tiny house? I live in Houston, Texas. Oh, good. Call me. Call it. <laughs> Call me! Call me. I'll sell you one right now. <laughs> Call yep. me! Four two three eight three nine zero one 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 one. What did you just say? Or is it four three nine? What's our phone number? Um. What's our phone 423, number? Four two three. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta get in a rhythm. Four two three four three eight zero one one one. Four three eight. Yes. Four two three four three eight zero one one one. Or email us at incredibletinyhomes.com. Go to our website. Incredibletinyhomes.com. Yep. Go to our website Jones. and see everything we got. Thank you, Randy yep. Jones. All right. And back to the weather. <laughs> It said, can you buy a tiny house? Oh, us? Uh, no. I mean... Ah, what does that mean? I don't know. It's she won't sell one. I don't know. Can you buy... Oh, uh, can we buy one back? Is that I what you're know. saying? Anyway, next question. Go ahead. Oh, next. Okay. Um, Glenna Russell. Glenna has been around a long time. She always follows us. I love this. What company invites you to see exactly how they build? Question mark. Incredible tiny homes. That's who. I cannot wait to be the proud owner of one of these tiny homes. Love from California. Thank you. Thank you, Glenna. That's nice. She's Glenna, sweet. She's I'm glad you appreciate us. that because yes. I, I really do. I don't care to show whatever you want to see. Yeah. Every bit of it. I'm actually going to get underneath the Incredible Box because people have been asking about the sewer, water, and power and how this is all done. and, and for, I'm going to show you a um, the off-grid and the gray water tank too. Okay, I want to say this was on a very old video. This was on uh, the best little um, let's see, how, what did we name that? The best little hen house uh, in Tennessee. That's what we called that oh, video. Yeah. It was uh, back in the day, it was a Freedom House, the 25,000 yep. 8x16 tiny home tour Freedom Line and James Bennett wants to know, does Randy Jones come with the house? Ah! James, if you need it, I'll yeah. come with it. James, if you need it, He's coming. I, whatever, I, whatever it takes. Whatever. Get the job done. <laughs> exactly. He's on his yeah. way, buddy. Bernice Crocker. Hi, Bernice. All right. Bernice was looking at uh, the Charleston. Yeah. And she says, love, love, love this house. This is exactly what I want. Oh, is this the available with salt, solar off grid? The Charleston's yes. right behind there, Bernice, too. Bernice, it is. You, you can get, we can put solar and complete off grid on any home in here. Also, if you go back, I think, uh, might have been this week or last week we did the video on our portable it's called incredible portable power IPP. all right you down with the oh, uh, ipp yeah you know me <laughs> which that's terrible you know we shouldn't say that song but everybody there's a few yeah. people that knew that so song. the ipp is IPP. something you can tow around with you you can set it outside and it's got a complete solar <laughs> package if you don't want to put it in your home yes. you can park this trailer next to it and get up to i think almost a We'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, up to eight panels Amazing. on this trailer, and you can put twelve batteries. It is the max daddy. Incredible run three or four portable houses. power. It was uh, how much? Twenty. Uh, Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four nine. Twenty-four nine. Something and like that. It is that. 
full. I'm getting and one for my portable. house. You can tow it behind. Yes. You can tow it behind a credible house, you know, and plug it up. Mm -hmm. so, okay, we got to yeah. do that. Or, now, if, but if you just want it hooked to your home, yeah, we can completely do it. Complete off-grid, water catchment, everything you need. Okay, I'm going to let you do one more question, and then we're going to have to go inside if we're going to take a little tour of this okay. 10 by 24. Let me see if I get another question. There's a couple here. But... What's the last question? What's the last question? All right. Uh, this one is called the for the twenty the twenty thousand dollar grab and go, which is our eight by sixteen. Do they come with a stove, fridge, refrigerator, furnace, and everything? Brian, this is Brian Bach. Brian, <laughs> no, they no, don't. No, they don't. And no. you know what? I try to include every single thing I could include and try to keep the prices down, but we do not include a fridge, a stove, a furni furniture, furniture, a furnace. Not, nothing. This yeah. is a DIY for $20,000. And the way we say DIY, we say decorate it yourself. And yeah. that is to paint it, stucco it, put wood on it, do whatever you want to with it on the walls, uh, the ceiling, uh, whatever you want. But you get flooring, you get a, a sink, you get... Uh, Water heater, full everything. kitchen, full bathroom, shower, toilet. And it, you just add your own All you appliances. have to do is put your refrigerator in. Yeah, put your fridge in. Put a stove top or a cook top on it. Yeah. Once he's wanting to furnish, I got a little heater from Walmart. You can put a. a I just bought those twenty-five dollar plug-ins to the outlet, so yeah. it's not that expensive. Brian, to add I wish those things. I wish I could afford to put all that in there and paint it and decorate it and put wood in outside and outside and still sell for under twenty. We just can't. We it's just too much. Well, money. nobody does. It's too much money. Nobody does. Yeah. And we're, it's just unbelievable. No one can touch what we're doing right now either. Do you want to do another? And are you ready to hop inside? One more. I want to, I want to, I want to talk to Phyllis. Phyllis Denton. Hey, Phyllis. She had a good question here. She says, what about another storage over where the bed, the bed goes? I am short. <laughs> well, I'm short too, Phyllis. Um, the, and that was the 8 by 16 in Credibox 30K. So the 30K is complete off-grid. And okay. Phyllis, go back. I think it was last week that we did Tom's um hunting six by 16 foot off-grid home yeah, and he put a loft up that thing mm -hmm. i got up in it and i show you how tall it is and stuff now the top of our windows are at 76 inches uh -huh. so we made the the bottom of that loft at 78 inches and it's two inches tall so the top is 80 inches yeah now 80 inches you know is six foot eight mm -hmm. I climbed up on the counter. You crawled up there. That was so funny. Randy's yep. cra Randy crawls everywhere. It's I so love funny. Climbing. You do yep. love climbing. Yep. So That's okay. it was it was uh but yeah, they got a loft in that video if you'd like to see that. Okay, all right. Thank we you, have Phyllis. got to get inside here. We're gonna show you this 10 by 24. We promised to kind of do a um, you know a roundabout. And what I'm gonna try and do, oh my gosh, there's so much to do, but I've got to decorate some of these uh, model homes. One's already left. We had a Dalton, I think, that left. I didn't even get to decorate it. So I'm going to have to grab some pictures and maybe contact them after they decorate it and see if they'll send us some pictures of the house. But we'll have another one coming up too. But we've got to get these on the website and show you exactly what these houses are looking like. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jump inside the 10 by 24 Lexington and give you a quick tour. All right. Bye. And my glasses. Are you ready? Yeah. Hang on. Well, I'll hold this. Well, I got it. Well, I got to hold it. I mean, you got to um, do the thing. What thing? What? <laughs> what are you saying? What are you driving at? I'm going to take the camera. I got it. Talk about it. I'm Let me not. Hit it. I'm like, okay, you, go. Here you, you go. You talk about You're it. You're alive. Uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, it's tiny house. Moving on. Um, <laughs> what? You know about this house. I wasn't talking about the house. It's 10 by 24. Well, Done. Bye. 10 by 24. My God. Look on the website. Just do a visual, Amanda. <laughs> Twenty-four likes him. My God. Yeah. Okay. That's someone more professional. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for participating in this tour. <laughs> okay. Wow. So this is a, our first Lexington. There's a few things we'll be doing a little bit different, and the product will be a little different. I know on the walls we're going to do V-groove instead of shiplap. Um, the kitchen's like this. Of course, this is where the fridge is. It allows for a large fridge right yes. here. Yes. What I like about it is you still have this huge room, oh my right? Gosh. It's, let me go back All here ways, and show how big yeah. the room is. Um, one of the down. things that right off the bat that I've seen, it looks like the Ocean Breeze layout. It right? does now, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, this it, is the Ocean Breeze. Well, I went back there and I was like, 
Wait yeah. Minute, I've seen this before. And so, yet the sofa. Remember the window? That, yeah. Here's the sofa. Coffee table, sofa, chair in the corner. Yes. And oh, the, it was decorated. And the so nice. was right there. And then there yep. was a the hallway. And the door was down a little bit further and the stairs went yes. up. Yes. That's it. It hit me. I looked and I went, wait a second. This is a so, mini ocean breeze right. in a way. So this Lexington is kind of what we're going to be doing in for the, the, the uh, Woody series. Yes. Yes. So we're going to condense it. We got stairs in the back wow. that goes up, but I'm going to tweak up this bathroom a little bit. Okay, so let me turn back around and show yeah. the bigness of the, the bigness. <laughs> the bigness. <laughs> the bigness of this. Wow. So I'm right here at the door yeah. of the hallway. And this is a 10 foot wide home. Yes. Fridge and now we polyurethane. Right yeah, we polyurethane the ceilings and all the trim. Yes. But painted the walls. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look how pretty everything is. Now explain why you don't put go ahead and put poly on the Well we don't know if anybody wants to stain them, poly them, yeah. paint them. This is kind of a custom thing that they might want right. to do. Right, exactly. Know? And if we polyed it and you didn't like it, you gotta sand it all down. Exactly. You know? I'm trying to move that a little bit. That's okay. Um and look at the little detail they did right here. They did like a little swoop. Yeah. Up there on the shelf. That's beautiful. Now this is not um, an upgrade no, that comes standard. with it. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's an undermount. It's a oh, is it called farm style? Farm style. Mm -hmm. And farm what's style. it called when it? Because it's a drop in. That's what it is. It's a drop in. Mm -hmm. Farm style drop in. Beautiful. I love it. All right. All right so now so we're back going. here. I love this bathroom. Oh Come on back. wow. Oh my goodness. So the barn door goes into here. Yes. And this one, of course, has the sink, the toilet. This is kind of the vanity sink. I like it. It's just an area yes. for that, right? You're not even getting close to the shower. No. So the shower has a lot of room to get in and out. And then Manda right here, it fits perfect for a stand-up stackable washer and dryer. Oh, yeah. So this house carries a lot of bang because you get a stackable washer and dryer. 36 inch shower, regular elongated toilet with this small box sink vanity right here. Oh, yeah. Storage underneath it, right? Wow, there's a lot of room in here. In the bedrooms. Of course, we got a little bit of storage mm -hmm. underneath here. Bad. That's where the water heater is. Got a little storage, not a whole lot. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Wow, but it hides that water heater. Yeah. Yes. So, oh, I love it. 36 inch shower. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay. And then you can go upstairs and these stairs lay out just right. Let me right. close this up a little bit. It's a little kind of hold. We're back. All right. Let me go upstairs. <clears throat> yep. And you can see how the stairs, you come straight in and then you turn up, right? Yes. And again, I like these stairs being confined with two walls on the sides. Yes. Because you do have something to feel more secure going up these steps. You yes. can grab the lock. You can have a handrail. We don't put a handrail right here because it condenses the you width of it. You've got the wall. Yeah, so you're going to be mm -hmm. even closer than what it is. And these are anywhere between 20 to 24. Now, on the end of the homes, we can make them 24 because we got a lot of room here to play with. But when the stairs are on the sides, we're, we're kind of coming down even almost to 22 inches. Oh, boy. I'm loving this. Okay, so here we go. You going to go up, buddy? We're going to go up the stairs? So I'm up on uh, almost the top step. Come on, buddy. Come on, Ace. Get up here. Look at him. Yep, there's an air exchanger right to the right of you. Yeah, so that's all standard. And then mm -hmm. we got two egress windows with the, both dormers. This is a big room up here. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. it is. So I always, we always make this right here, this last step is about 20 inches. All right? Okay. So you're able to sit down on a loft. Mm -hmm. Now, the vertical height in here is about 43 inches in height. So it's not big enough to walk around in. Mm -hmm. It's made to sleep. Yes. And I always tell everybody, we don't put any mm. closets up here. I don't suggest putting closets. No. Because whatever you have up here, you got to carry up these steps. And if it's dirty clothes, you're going to throw them down. I'm sure they are. Throw them down on the steps yeah. for your laundry. And you don't want to be carrying stuff in your arms on the way up and down. You don't want to fall. Yeah. And if you're going to change your bed linens, I would just change sure. them, throw them out in the living room and pick them up. Pick them know? up. Yeah. But you can see the sprinkler system we have there. we got the mini split on the other end. It blows across. So even though, all right, this is a 24-foot home. And the difference between it and the 20, the 20 footer is that, you know, you have the stairs in the back instead of on the side, the kitchen's a little bit laid out different for the living room. Yeah. But your bathroom is a little bit more to navigate it because you have a stackable washer and dryer. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I like that. I love it. That look is at, awesome. And look at how the white walls bring out so much light in here. Is there a way that you can, I hate to ask you to do that. Would you go over and show the show it from that point of view? What, over there on the loft? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me walk over here. Ace going to get a bird. Don't you jump off, buddy. Yeah, so look down in there. Yeah. Look at all the windows. That's the living room. So if you count the door, one, two, three, four, five, that big picture window right there. You guys can see the polyurethane, how it's shining. The floor is looking at the loft. I'm gonna switch around here. Of course, Amanda's already showed you. That's okay, you can show it again. Isn't that neat? Yeah. There you have it. This is Lexington, 24 feet. Yeah. The interior. Turn it down through here, and right down here is the, how you go down the stairs? And you just go down, I love leaning on this wall. Did you go down and see how this one's kind of Side of the caddy corner, or what would you call that, Randy? What's that? This stair, like this. Um, it's a wing. Wing. A wing. wing okay. Yep. And then you just got it right here, and there you go. So right I here's a that. view from right. the bathroom. Let's go, buddy. And here's the hallway. There's your barn door, and you come back through. Oh my goodness. Amanda. Yes, sir. Just like you said. Oh, look at you up there. Let me You're get off. you up there. There you are. Yep. So. Yeah. The staircase you can hang on to, right? Yes. As you're coming down if you need to, and a lot okay. of people hang on to this. Let me you show can put, you. You can put a grab bar on the face of this thing, Amanda. Yes. You can put a grab bar here or here, but I'm still hanging on. That's right. I love it that I can lean up, <laughs> lean up against like the your wall. Mom. Yeah, and I can just navigate down here and hold on to everything. That's right. Okay, buddy. Isn't that cool? Hey, any pain in your knees? No, no. Your knees have been good here lately. Mm, thumbs up. You're doing good, man. Stem okay. cell. Now, we want to tell you one more thing, and I just want to show the kitchen right there. It's really pretty. Yeah. Uh, one more thing I wanted to share. Randy wanted to talk about. You wrote it in that pad. What was yes. it? It was about if you have purchased a home here, mm -hmm. an credit box or a regular home, and you're waiting to come and get it, don't wait any longer. There's mm -hmm. All right, it's becoming winter. We built these homes when it was really, really warm here. <clears throat> They have not been winterized. Our policy is if we build you a home, an Incredibox or any home, you got 14 days to come and get it or yes. we'll ship it to you. And I know we have sent out numerous notifications yes. to try to help you guys plan to come and get your home. If it gets below freezing, there's things in here that could break, all right, and snap. And most of our problems come with our shower valves. And that's mm -hmm. why in that shower, you see a little access panel. And that's normally what breaks in a freeze or it's a mechanical device in any of the plumbing. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying right now, we're sending an email to everybody. If you have an Incredibox, we have must we must have 30 here being waited to be picked up. Yeah. Please come and get your home. We're running out of space and it's getting cold and you guys, things will break. So we cannot warranty the home. So if you don't come and get mm -hmm. it before it freezes, and something you get home, and because these have all been tested and they've all been pressurized, everything they've just been waiting right to be picked so up. So we can't warranty this house if you don't come and get it before it gets cold. And two, I just want everybody to know that Amber has uh, emailed everyone. Mm -hmm. She has tried to contact everyone, tried yep. to schedule it. There's people they just weren't <laughs> ready. They didn't have their property ready or right. whatever it is like that. But uh, we're also going to probably do just a quick small video we'll put that out as well and for the residents around here we're probably that are that still watch cold weather's coming yeah. do they need to still run their own city water do you still need to run uh, a stream of water if it's really only cold? if your house is not skirted around the perimeter okay because that cold air is blown mm -hmm. where the water pipes are exposed okay so you need a drip 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 of water okay. now the one thing that you guys can do if you have if you are one of our uh, Incredibox customers. Mm -hmm. And let's say I still can't have my home yet. I don't want my home yet. Yeah. I've still got things to do. Please let us know. We can take that home and give it to someone else. Yeah. And we can put you on another build schedule. Mm -hmm. Right now we're looking at doing our Grove and it has 72 homes. Mm -hmm. We're starting to build on the Grove Monday morning. Yes, exciting. So we've got like, I think 26 Incrediboxes. Mm -hmm. Now, get this so we build three six nine twelve twelve to sixteen homes a week so in two weeks we'll have all the incredible boxes done oh my god and then two more weeks we'll have all of the 10 by 12s yes. done. and in about three weeks we'll have all the 12 by 20s done mm -hmm. so we're going to be looking up till about mid-december first week in december of doing the grove 
Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the 10, eight by twenties that we've all talked about. The yeah. eight by twenties that we're trying to sell right now. Say, Hey, if you want one to be built in December. And then people, if you're purchasing a home right now in Incredibox, then that Incredibox will start being built January 2nd, 3rd, right. right? But remember we build about 16 a week. So when we do that, we have 30, I think we have 30 customers that have bought a house since we drew our line in stopping construction and going to the grow. Those 30 homes that we've sold in the last couple weeks will be getting their home January about 14th. Okay. So that's our build line. So really right now, if you sense this, get this, 72 homes, another 30 homes, all them done by January, mid-January. Unbelievable. All of them built and done. Unbelievable. All right? So that's what's really neat about our Incredibox line and how we can produce these things. And we're hoping that'll continue on our Woody line when we do our, our stick built complete all wood home. All right, is that what you needed? I think That's that it? was it, right? All right? Everybody, this is a Lexington. This is our new model line. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go back to the beginning of the video and you'll see what the X side, the X side, the <laughs> exterior looks like, all yes. right? And you'll kind of get a, a, a view of what's going on tomorrow. Watch the video. We'll be doing the giveaway, the tiny Birmingham. I want to show the, yes. the faux slate that we're putting on it, all the details to that. Beautiful. And then I want to go back into the Incredibox and I'm going to show off. Remember, we have off-grid and we have solar special going on right now until um, October, October 31st. 31st. And after that, we'll continue doing our off-grid. It'll just be going up in price. Yep. So that is a sale going on to the end of October. All right. So remember that. And if you're one of the 100 purchasers of an 8x20 or an 8x16, remember until the end of the year, if you're one of the 100, you are in the drawings to win a free Incredibox. 100%. That's exciting. Free. It's just so much. One out of 100, Randy, the odds are amazing. One out of 100. If so, don't delay. These are the yes, specials. Come on. This is to stimulate growth, stimulate yes. interest in what I'm doing. That's why I give stuff away. It's just like, wow, I can't believe this guy is giving things away. Every 100 homes, I pull a name out and you are the winner. So that's pretty good odds of you know getting another free home if you guys purchase one now. That's okay. till the end of the year. Yep. And of course, October 31st is for our solar and off-grid if you want to deal on that. That's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. And right. Ace is tired. He's done. All right. Thanks, everybody. Subscribe, thumbs up. Tell Share everybody about video. our company, who we are, what we're doing. And if you enjoy us and what we're doing, and uh, feel free to come and visit us at 850 Industrial Road, Newport, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Make an appointment. Get online. Please, we got to have appointments or we won't be able to see you. That's right. You know, with this crazy schedule we keep here going back and forth. That's right. and doing all that we do. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye. Bye.